Prosperity teachings, metaphysical and mystical prosperity teachings, invite us to opening up our minds, our hearts, our whole bodies to the infinite. And to embodying and knowing that the creator, source, is our supply. And that everything that is ever here, ever has been, ever will be, ever, ever here and present right now in this moment is absolutely created and exists. This isn't easy to get our heads around, especially when we have a bill to pay or two, <laughs> or there's finances that we're you know, wanting for whatever reasons for our lives. <clears throat> it's not easy to come into that bigger concept of who we are, that greater idea of who and whose we are, to knowing that prosperity, which by the way, is idea, is inspiration, is meeting of other people, is connecting, is communing, is <coughs> opening our hearts and sharing what we love doing in the world. This is all prosperity. And when we're doing this, we open ourselves up to receiving what is truly ours from the infinite. And yet we block ourselves. We block ourselves because we think that we're not good enough and our psychology gets in the way. The psychological identification of who we are gets in the way of the spiritual ID of who we truly are and of the knowing of who we are in the, in the, as the divine gets in the way. Because the thing is you're already prosperous. We have to be that first. We have to become that knowing in order to be, um, to receive the fullness of our portion. And the portion is already here for you right now. So take some time to be in the stillness and in the silence. Whatever your spiritual beliefs, know that this is the greatest and the greater. And it is a part of who we are. As Rumi says, we are not a drop in the ocean, we are an ocean in the drop.